I go viral by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. But it got to feel different when it's a good viral. Mm-hmm. It just got to feel a little... Going, right, going, going viral for being correct? No, this feels yeah. different because it, it was, you're too correct now. That was too correct. <laughs> that was nuts. That was a little too... Correct. That was, that was Joe Stradamus. I, like, I like when that happens. I tell y'all I'll be being intuitive oh, sometimes. Just <laughs> don't like to acknowledge my intuitive powers or my connection with the universe oh, and my ancestors. Wakanda forever. See, look. I ain't even gonna say. <laughs> you got it, bro. There might be a few people that are, um, you know, confused as to what we're talking about, but mm. there is a clip. There is. Yeah. It's mad clips. What clip? You, it's, it's, it's mad you, clips. I feel clip. like you might oh, have it. Oh. I feel like you might have hey, it ready oh, at the phone. Oh, no, yo, no. I feel like it he, might he got, be. Oh no, he got it. He got it. Yeah, he, he, he got, got, got it. it. Just just one tap I mean, away. I have to find it now. Oh, oh God. God. As soon as he opens his phone, that's It's just wallpaper. Oh. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, that's what I mean. That's all. That's it. That's it. How'd that get there? Because it's viral. I hate that word too. That's some real loser shit. Oh, man. Viral. All right. Let's I see. Clue. Mm -hmm. I call Fab. I love this clip. He, first got he told this story a lot, but this one, I like this one. Look at Mano, too. I like Mano as Barbara Walters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think enough people are paying attention to Mano. Just like, <laughs> what happened, man? <laughs> it was the wow when he. Wow. People, when I first got into real estate, I called three people. Mm -hmm. I called Clue. Mm -hmm. I called Fabulous. Mm -hmm. I called Joe Button. Mm -hmm. Right? My Desert Storm family. And I said, hey, guys, I'm doing real estate. This is something that I think that, you know, you should invest a little bit of money in, try it out, and that way you can do it. Joe Button told me it was a Ponzi scheme and I was going to go to jail. People, what? <laughs> God, please forgive me. <laughs> Lord, forgive me. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not laughing at nobody going what? to jail. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not laughing at nobody going to jail. Please forgive but the me. The irony is a little funny. But he left a lot out of this. I don't like that in this clip. In this clip, he make, he make it sound like I was the dumbest nigga in the world. Like, I called Joe Budden, told him about investing in real estate, which I want to let the audience know is not a crime. <laughs> At all. It's absolutely and it's not a scam. Nothing, there's nothing scammy about investing in real estate. He tried to, in this clip, it sounded like I had no understanding of that. <laughs> I tried to get him to invest in some real estate. He told me it was a Ponzi scheme and I was going to jail. Oh, you left out a lot in that story, buddy. <laughs> I ain't that dumb. Uh, Flip and Antoine. <laughs> I oh, shit, right to it. Yeah, yeah, hey, welcome right to episode yeah. 668. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to episode hey. 668. We are us, y'all are y'all. We're here. Happy to be here. <laughs> Man, all here. feeling good, feeling great. Everybody's health is fine, mental health is yep. fine, and yep. we all made it back here to talk to you guys now. Antoine. <laughs> Antoine. <laughs> Uh, Caesar Pina was arrested. Uh, million dollar bail, which he posted, 10%, 100 grand. Boy, I'd be angry at that. If you owe a whole bunch of niggas money, take your time paying the bail, buddy. Don't just act like you got a stash somewhere. <laughs> he ain't just smacking niggas in the face with disrespect. What do you think about that, Antoine? <laughs> I've been, I've been uh, incarcerated before. Mm -hmm. And the first thing you think about is getting out by any means necessary. So, I heard it was a uh, property bond, though. I heard two different stories. I heard it was a, a regular post and bail bond, and then I heard it was a property bond. I'm not sure which way it was because I heard both. But I wouldn't give a fuck what's going on. I'm getting out of here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, he's on house arrest with an ankle, ankle monitor that he took a picture of. He also posted to Instagram... <laughs> Uh, what was the, the DMX? Uh, we, we right we, here. We're right here. Oh, bring it. We right here. Bring it. We right here. We ain't going anywhere. Yes, that's mm -hmm. what he said on Instagram. Yeah. It's all uh, him and DJ Envy have also unfollowed each other. Oh. Then the oh, feds man. went yeah. up up to iHeart one of them mornings and are said to have taken out some electric device electrical devices. Mm -hmm. I think that wording is interesting. Electrical devices. Mm -hmm. That's broad. Nice that's and broad. broad. Yeah, broad is scary. That, uh, and broads are scary. Couple weeks, Be careful. A, a couple weeks ago, they also um, took the episodes that Caesar and them were on. Oh, yeah, they deleted episodes. They, they deleted them. That's always a bad sign unless you're Joe Rogan and Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, they did it a couple weeks ago. Uh, they deleted the episodes. What's starting to happen, from what I understand, is um, people are starting to include iHeart 
and uh, Power 105 in Uh-oh. their lawsuits. Mm. So, oh, has to be expected. Mm-hmm. I, I'm shocked. To be honest, I'm shocked it had, it took this long. I think that if they which did, part the arrest or the feds going for up for iHeart no, to start oh, lawyering up. If it were me, I would have included everybody that I can in yeah. that lawsuit to get my money back. I don't give a fuck who settles it. Mm. Get my money back. That's my goal is to get my money back. So I don't care if our heart, I don't care if your heart, I don't care if anybody's heart <laughs> had to get my fucking money back. Get my money back. So I would have included them from the rip. Mm-hmm. But what I'm, I'm hearing is some of the new people that are filing claims are including them in, in the claim. So that's going to make, that's going to shake some shit up. Is this a class action lawsuit? Like one lawyer or one um, kind of legal representative? I don't think so. No, no I think these are individual the lawsuits. Individual. Shit. Mm-hmm. So some I, of them, are, from what I've read, were filed by the same lawyer. Mm-hmm. But there's, it's not a class action where it's like I'm representing a group. It's like here's one, here's one. It's multiple lawsuits. Mm-hmm. The news is is saying this number is up to hundred about, million dollars. I was about to say I heard yeah. I heard numbers Jeez. as high as eighty million. I heard forty million. I heard twenty million. So I don't know exactly how much money it is. It's 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 a lot. Being that I do some of the things that these well, guys be careful. do. Whoa, whoa, I said now. some. Mm. I'm an investor. Oh, I don't even understand how that happens. So that's why when y'all be getting me to try and shoot at them, mm. it baffles me how how that happens. Which part? How somebody cumulatively or a group of people gave you 40 million, 20 million, 30 million, and you don't have the money. I don't understand that. It's well, like your a, lifestyle. That's a Ponzi scheme. But, that's what it is. And so when the people start coming, if you have the ability to start settling some of these debts, you would settle some of these debts in good faith to make it look like, yo, we hit a bad spot, but we paying people back slowly but surely. Mm-hmm. He did some of that. He did some of that. And what, if you, and what if you think like, I got a lick coming down a couple months, a year, you know, something down the line. That's what I think. So it's going to cover it. Yeah. Think, so now I'm, I'm, I might go shop for a little bit. You ain't got then, no $80 million lick. No, I'm just saying. Something that could. A well tongue ain't that big. You ain't got no, no $80 million. No, no, what I'm saying is <laughs> $80 million might be the total. But if I could <laughs> oh, well, a couple of years. Here's a couple of lick <laughs> pumps. Here's enough. What, pump. what does a well oh, tongue got to do with that the lick? lick? The lick pump. The lick. Oh, a well okay. tongue that was lick. That was good. Oh, yeah. That was actually, that was clever. He need a SoundCloud deal. You know, I can't be the one on the hill by myself, nigga. One thing Caught on last, <laughs> but nah, I, I just don't see that. That that's some of the stuff that I don't understand. Like all the real estate community, literally talking about it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When niggas is having arguments. It has transcended the real estate community. Mm-hmm. But the people that are young, um, black and Latino people, mm-hmm. we getting the, the brunt of this because motherfuckers are saying I'm not fucking with that. I ain't doing that. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Oh, so you're saying reflects the scam? Yeah, 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 they 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 they, they scam. Just stamp and scam on that shit. Well, That's yo, chill out, yo. <laughs> <laughs> chill out, yo. I'm not in company nah, industry. Nah, nah, you nah, think I'm coming nah, in to go nah, crazy? I'm not. I don't think that. I'm not. I promise you, I'm not. But today is a day for honesty and reflection. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm not coming in to go crazy. I'm leaving that time. I'm leaving it. You don't try to follow my lead today, nigga. I'm following yours, Flip. I'm following yours. <laughs> but to the audience, first lesson. Find out how easy it is to rent an auditorium. And once you do that, when you see pictures <laughs> oh of God. DJ Envy and Caesar at a podium in an auditorium, all y'all niggas should have ran. They look doofy as hell in all them pictures. Why would I look at a picture of these two niggas in an auditorium and say, Give mm, them my money. Mm, right there. <laughs> y'all. Y'all too. But anyway... You know what it is, though? You you see, like, Yo. you see success. You um, see the cars. Yeah, you see all of that, and you like, mm-hmm. I'm driving. And then they start telling you, when you start hearing these too good to be true numbers, mm-hmm. yo, you give me this amount, mm-hmm. and in five months, six months, mm-hmm. I can get you 30 on top of, 30% on top of that? Mm-hmm. It just, all right, fuck it. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you got it. So I'm a believe. We tend to believe those who can show us the shiny shit. Yes. Mm-hmm. So our good brother, Imani, I'm riding home the other day, minding my good old business. Mm-hmm. And... I'm, you know, look on at Instagram when I get in the car. Imani's on the live with a couple other investors. Mm-hmm. Pull me into the live, and we had a long conversation. And it's three investors on the live, and I don't want to. Let me. Oh, we, well, we got a docket. No, 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 no. Oh, investor docket. No, 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 no. Oh, what them investors were saying I, that you disagreed with? 
now we pretty much agreed on most of the stuff. My All thing right. is this. I don't want to victim shame and I don't want to victim blame. I want to tell everybody, though, before you give somebody 100 grand, before you give somebody 200 to 300 grand, like, from what I heard, he was asking niggas to come with the money in cash. That's a red no. flag. And didn't, even, and didn't even count it. Bright red flag. So if you asking somebody to come with 100K in cash, 200K in cash, you, they, I give you it. You don't even count it? Come on, dog. Like, some I, of this I shit, think, you got to use think, I, think the, I think the fact that Envy stood behind it and said it on the radio, people trusted that. It's more mm-hmm. than that. It's more than that. But I think that helped but a lot of people. that's a huge that's part a huge of it. That helped a lot of people. Listen to this. If you got 300 grand cash sitting in a brown paper bag, sitting under your bed, sitting any fucking where that it is accessible, you also have or should have the wherewithal to have your attorney involved. What if that's niggas true. don't got attorney? attorneys? What if you niggas- got 300 grand. One is $1,000. That's that's get them niggas two ninety nine, and very you take did the thousand dollars and give it to the niggas on the news <laughs> that were, that invested. <laughs> did you see them? That is also true. Let's talk, did you see? Do you think them niggas is getting lawyers? You saw the niggas? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> no, Joe Biden.